and grow YouTube show. What about mindset for the fall with gardening? So, you know, I think fall is a good time to reflect on your summer, spring, summer growing months, because that is, that is the, you know, predominant, if you live in the Northeast, like that is the majority of, of your growing season. Mm -hmm. Um, what do you, what's your advice for people who maybe had some blunders in their growing season in the summer when they're in the fall looking back? Well, and then definitely you're going to appreciate fall even more because one of the biggest differences aside from the types of plants you can grow in the fall versus the summer, in the summer, everything is growing at lightning speed pretty much. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, except for the tomatoes that you just, they can't get red fast enough. You know, the yeah. number one thing I always hear from people is like, why are my tomatoes ripening? Mm -hmm. And it seems like it's taking forever. Yeah. But aside from that, your your squash and your cucumbers and all of these crazy crops in the summer they're growing so fast the biggest challenge is just keeping up with everything you know and dealing with the pests and the disease and the diseases so when you come into fall and you're planting these these wonderful leafy crops and these ones that just they're kind of on chill factor they're just taking their time and they're growing a little bit every day but there's nothing there's no sense of urgency where you got to be out there every day doing something or chasing away the pest or diseases because they are so few and far between or non-existent in some mm -hmm. cases. And it's just a much more enjoyable experience all the way around in many ways because it's not hot. Like I said before, those things, it's not hot. It's not humid. It's, it's, it's pleasant. You know, you know how it is when you're out in the fall and those crisp mornings and evenings, and even in the day, you're not sweating mm -hmm. and it's just a joy. And you just don't feel the overwhelm that you often feel in the summertime. So appreciate the fall and the uniqueness about it and the special qualities that only the fall garden provides because you will be missing that in, this, in the following summer. And, and it will cause you to look forward to fall again much more than ever for your next garden. Oh, I live for that first cold snap, man. I mm. live for those first cozy vibes of fall. Yeah. Um, it's also a beautiful opportunity to start out to try again. You know, if, if you did have, if summer got away from you and you were too overwhelmed and you lost a lot of plants or you had a aphid infestation or you had, you know, whatever, um, it is a beautiful opportunity to kind of renew and try and reconnect with why you started the summer garden, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you can reset, you can just mentally reset. And mm -hmm. if you've got the wherewithal to get some, you know, you don't even have to start seeds. You can buy seedlings. But I do find, Maria, for the reasons we talked about earlier, a lot of people just kind of forget about fall gardening. And so the garden centers don't really stock their shelves with mm -hmm. seedlings for fall. They're they're too busy selling pansies and making room for Christmas, you know? And that's a shame because it's a missed opportunity for the retailers, but at the same time, not everybody's starting plants from seeds, even yeah. though I think they should. It's cheaper and you got much more variety and all that stuff. But um, not sure where, where I was going with that. But um, no, I think that's a good I think that's a good point. And I think yeah. it can be a little intimidating. But I love the I love I had such a positive experience with radishes my first year. Um, they they didn't taste great. But I, I didn't quite know what I was doing. I also mm. think it was like not a high quality seed packet I started. But the process of having something germinate rather quickly and, you know, be able to pull, what is it, 30 or 60 days of radish you can grow from seed to harvest? Yeah, it depends on the one. But yeah, from 30 to 60 days. Yeah. So, you know, I do feel like some of these fall crops lettuce too, where you plant them and you can be harvesting relatively quickly, even if it's not an overwhelm is a nice experience to see a seed starting life cycle that mm -hmm. isn't high stakes. Like when you're starting tomatoes and you're starting them in March and you're not yeah. seeing tomato until August, like those stakes mm -hmm. are so high. Um, it's kind of a lower stakes time to like experiment and just like shake some seeds around in your garden, you know, and see what, see what comes up. That's a very good point. You're not so vested that, you know, you feel like you, your life is on the line <laughs> by the success or the failure of the tomato. The the radish has a lot. There's a lot less skin in the game with a totally. few radish seeds. Yeah, totally. Um, I also have been just musing as I'm starting to feel the seasons change just on like 
you know, you t- I loved what you just said about fall is how like it, you know, the, the plants themselves are a little chiller mm-hmm. and it can be more enjoyable, but also how can we kind of reflect that in our own lives and how can we kind of move through seasons? Cause I feel like lately from conversations I've been having with people, you know, you feel like you need to constantly be in the state of extreme growth, like this abundant summer kind of mindset of really rapid growth, harvesting kind of overwhelm and never like stopping for a minute. And I feel like this metaphor is more about winter, like letting yourself, you know, Mm -hmm. have some winter, but the fall is a really nice kind of trigger to let yourself kind of slow down. And that's beautiful to be able to practice with plants in your garden too. You know, it's pretty amazing how the seasons are so significant for so many reasons, including our mental health, you know, and there's, there's that perfect alignment metaphorically with the seasons and the fall is a chance, as you said, to turn the volume down and slow the pace a little bit from the summer for what you just said, you know, everything is growing at such a fast pace. And and there's, it's like, you're just, you're having all these crazy pitches thrown at you. And it's like, almost like a game of dodgeball when you're trying to just maneuver through all the intricacies of a successful growing season, when you're really not in control ever, you know, mother nature always has the last say, and you're just trying to keep up and I wouldn't even say stay ahead. I mean, really keeping up is about as good as you can do. And that, that would be a big win. But when you come into fall, you know, in addition to the plants being chill, it just, it's a, it gives you that sense of rest and relaxation and peace when you're out there, because you're not feeling that, that same pace and all those challenges being thrown at you when you're in the fall garden. So the visual reminders of the plants themselves, the fact that they're going to look good, they're beautiful. These leafy crops, some of them are just so ornamentally gorgeous. We just grow them for their yeah. ornamental purposes. Yeah. Uh, but I just, I just look, you know, especially coming out of a busy summer garden, I just so look forward to the fall for the, all the reasons I said, plus the, yeah. the great do, taste do, that you get do, from do, the plants. Do, 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 do,